Good afternoon, everybody, or actually good evening. It's getting close to, uh, I'm done with work. It's closing time already. I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, another event that happened. I guess I wasn't paying close attention to it because it made no sense to me about what happened. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to avoid this. Probably isn't really anything important. And it actually kind of is. Um, it's a continuation of things that we've been seeing a lot of lately. And that being the um, free speech rallies, uh, right-wing people, uh, and independents, and uh, um, uh, free speech activists are basically uh, being shunned out at colleges. So this one involves uh, Lucian, Lucian, I'm looking at my notes here, Lucian Winrich, and he had a speech at University of Connecticut. And um, it was live streamed by uh, VFN. Uh, this is, I think, where all the, the footage came from. Or, there was one other camera, but the VFN is very fake news. I'm not trying to plug anything from them or anything, but um, yeah, they did a great job of covering it. Uh, and uh, I just want to point out some things that I noticed in there. First off, some of the funny stuff. There was a comment made in the video, um, hilarious actually. There was a, it's a, it was a bit, a pretty big audience. It was a full crowd, and and there was like three sections. There was a left, center, and right. And in the center top area, um, there was, uh, that's where the most of the protesters were. And they were, um, <laughs> one of the guys, I think it was the guy holding the camera actually, went ahead and said, um, uh, you guys look like a, uh, a crazy 1990s misfit, misfit WWF, uh, team. And everybody just started cracking up laughing. And I kind of was laughing to it when I was listening to it myself. So, um, that was, that was pretty interesting. Uh, <laughs> and they did, they totally looked like that. I personally thought they looked like, um, uh, uh, the, the punk group from, uh, Return of the Living Dead, but I think his more accurately portrays it. Uh, the other thing as well, you know, there's, there's, in my opinion, there's always, these are always opportunities. These events are always opportunities for the left to, these leftist students to come, uh, gosh, I should say socialist commie students to come together and, and if they really want to debate things, if they really want to be relevant, if they really want to have the public find out what they're about, because um, they seem to be a, min a minority, in, the, in my opinion, but they're a vocal minority where, you know, they cry like babies and everybody hears them. But this was another missed opportunity for them. There was a point where um, Lucian was asking the people, uh, well, just so you know, there's a Q&A afterwards, so please stay. And then another moment later on, he was, uh, somebody was saying stuff to him in the, in the crowd as some of them were leaving. And he's like, well, you know, why don't you guys just come up here and, and, and we can talk about it. I mean, because one person said, oh, you don't know anything. You're not bringing facts. You're not bringing facts. You don't know your history. And he said, well, come and sit down with me. I need to know exactly what you need, want to know. You know, I can probably uh, hash it out if you want, uh, you know, something to that extent. And no, they refuse to comply. And, and I already know why that is. I mean, it, the issue is because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. These, these people who just like to walk away from conversations, they like to have an opinion. They don't like to learn anything from it. And that's, uh, what they don't understand is, uh, okay. So there's two things here. What, what they don't understand is that they could learn more and they could probably end up siding with reality and what's cohesively uh, uh, neutral, you know, it's it's it, and, and and beneficial to both parties that were involved here, the left and the right, and you know, all in between. The other part is that the right, I think the right knows this, but they're not really, oh, they're not really bringing it up too often. The right basically uh, doesn't see that as these people's numbers grow, because a lot of people are lazy, they don't want to use their brains for anything, they just, they would rather just go in a group and believe nothing, and spout those typical SJW chants, and that's all that was happening in this crowd, it was one person who asked questions, just one, um, but that, that was all, you know, no KKK, or no, uh, no Nazis, no Nazis, or Nazis go away, and, you know, it was, you don't, it's stupid, it's, it's fucking retarded. And that's, that's being nice. Um, but anyways, the, the right doesn't realize that as these people's uh, brains keep collapsing, um, the only thing that their brain comprehends that is beneficial for them is, is voting D in the ballot box. And that's all they're going to keep doing. Their numbers are going to grow because they're going to keep having babies. They're going to keep doing um, 
they're, they're just gonna keep growing uh, like a fucking cest, and and it's and it's, uh, it's it's depressing, you know, to to know that there's voters who uh, don't know what the hell they they don't know why they vote except just just to vote for the left and or for socialist uh, uh, agendas, and it, and then the people who are going to take care of them are us, the working uh, the working class who actually prefer to work, who actually who actually love free America. So there's a lot of issues going on right now, and, and that's that's what I see as something that's not being tackled. Is it is a dangerous movement, uh, influence, you know, uh, especially with with the states and the powers in the states that people vote for. You know that that that's that's a risky move there. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyways, I'm I'm kind of going off the deep end here, but going back to one of the last highlights I wanted to bring up, there was a dude who broke the a window at the event and uh like one of, like what um, Lucian said in a post interview I forget what it was the red elephant I believe was interviewing him I can't remember uh, but he said in that post interview uh that those windows they're not just regular <clears throat> you know uh windows that you would see in like a resident resident residential home uh but they're more or less uh you know industrial uh type windows and it's very difficult to break and somebody just broke it and the guy's look in his face the guy that was right in front of the window the guy's look in his face me 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 it was just hilarious and the guy who was recording said i got you on camera officer it was him i got him i got him and the officer takes him away it was pretty awesome um and it, the, the look in his face you have to watch the video the look in his face was priceless it wasn't me i don't know what happened so so here's the whole dilemma here. Uh, this is this is what started the whole thing. Um, there, it was about 30 minutes into the, uh, the 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 presentation. I guess there was an intermission or something. I I don't know. It was hard to understand a lot of the stuff that was going on because everybody was just talking so much. Well, these two people came, uh, in, you know, from the bleacher or from the the seats to his uh, uh, Lucian's podium. And one guy said, oh, you're just like a cheap rate Milo, and the guy walks away. But then there was a girl behind him, takes a picture of the crowd or something, and then they worked as a team somehow to obtain his, his, uh, his documents. And what, the, what mainstream media is, is pushing this narrative as is, is oh, he is, he's attacking this, 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 this girl, woman, by the way. She was apparently 40-something years old, and she looks older than that in her pictures, which I'm about to reveal here very shortly, um, or the details of, of who she is. And, and so, you know, this, this wasn't just a piece of paper. These were his, his notes. They were his property. They were his intellectual property that was taken from him to continue with his, his presentation. So, in, in essence, she was stealing. And, and that's how I'm looking at it. Whether it was, if it was, if it was a black person, if it was a Mexican like me or, or, or whatever, and something like that happened to me, I would probably have done something similar to what he did. Probably got enforcement, uh, law enforcement involved though. Uh, but basically what he did was after he saw that, you know, she had grabbed his stuff, she, um, she walks off and then he immediately just turns towards her, starts walking after her, puts his arm over her back and, and, uh, and, it looked like you can't tell because the video is like all going crazy, and the other angle was still kind of you really couldn't see what what was going on except the two cops, you know, got on top of him after a while. But he was trying to get his his notes back to continue his meeting apparently or something. Well, the Gateway Pundit uh, website was able to identify this woman. This woman's name is Catherine Katie uh, Gregory, and she is two things. She is both. A, the Associated Director of Career, Service, Career Services and Advising at, get this, I don't know this, Quinn and Bog Valley Community College. So, I don't know if you guys go there or not, but it seems like it's going to be another SJW college. The other thing she was, was an Occupy Wall Street leader. So, it goes to show you what kind of people are actually taking action in, the, in this crap here. Uh, and and, and they're, they have no reason for it. So... During during his meeting, uh, you know he he there were so many missed opportunities, um, so many missed opportunities here. Um, oh, and by the way, with with what's her face with Katie, whatever. Uh, I think uh, 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 Lucian is going to actually be uh, pressing, trying to file charges or something. I that's that's the impression that I get. Uh, 
from the interview I saw on the Red Elephant. And so some highlights and, and, and notes that I got from this, this was a mixed bag of bullshit. You know, the whole thing around. The guy was there delivering a speech. Uh, you know, it seemed like it was a... You, people could have learned from it. And there were, granted, there were some people who were trying to listen in. One lady, one woman of color was asking some questions, which I thought was very good. Um, you know, that's progress. You know, there's there's people there that are just, they do, you know, he's asked them questions, but she was the only one that wanted to actually give her two cents, which, you know, great. Praise it. But some questions that I have, some open-ended comments here. How do people who have issues with free speech make it in life and in the real world? So, these kids, I am so worried about our future because all these people get offended by everything. They they steal and they don't expect anything to happen. You know, there's a recent video I saw of a call of a an Indian girl who ripped off something from a wall and then she went into a classroom where an Indian instructor was was presenting something and she just threw tore everything up and just the cops had to arrive and it was just the most insane thing. But these people are getting fucking ridiculous and and um in our future, man, it's like, what do you do when you go out into the real world? Are you gonna be fucking offended by everything? You gonna fucking grow up? God damn, man. Um, <laughs> excuse my cursing, but fuck. I mean, you guys are not thinking. You guys are not seeing that you're you're a tool being used. You know that you're a tool being used. So you can you can get government benefits, uh, be be at the mercy of control, work shitty jobs if you're gonna work at all. Eat shitty food so your body can die quicker. And, and, and go to the hospital and collect benefits. And put the tax burden on the rest of everybody who's actually trying to get ahead, like me. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, and, and everything right now is just keeping me down. Uh, I'm sorry, nothing is keeping me down. I'm, I'm working hard. But stuff like this, it, you know, it keeps, it keeps you, it keeps you down. It's just, uh, it, America as a whole, I mean. And, and, and it brings us down. It's, it's, it's not productive. And it doesn't do the individual good. Oh my God, just turn. Jeez. Um, <laughs> some guy did not want to turn. <laughs> anyway, so I'm, I'm so concerned about these people who take everything to offense. You're not going to get anywhere in life. And you're hearing it from me. You're not, you're not going to get anywhere in life. Being the victim and, and playing the victim card and taking offense to every fucking thing. Grow up. Colleges aren't babysitter places for babysitters. I don't know. You know, it wasn't like that for me just 10 years ago, 15 years ago. I don't know what this world is turning into. So I'm going to continue the rest of my video after I go um, to the bank. Or I might just finish it while I'm in the driveway. So yeah, I'll just do that. I got nothing else better to do. It doesn't look like it's busy anyway. So uh, one second here, guys, while I carefully monitor my surroundings. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Yes. Okay. So the next thing. <sighs> Okay, I did mention this already. They're going to be fully supported by us hard workers. Oh, wow, it's it's really dark now. Um, I'm just going to go in and do what I need to do, and I'll be back. <laughs>